Welcome to Hot Seat MD, a case conference review. The directions are simple. When the case appears, I will ask you to pause your media player. Then describe the study type and findings, give a brief differential diagnosis, and then check out the fast facts for additional information. Now pause your media player. PA and lateral chest radiographs demonstrate a spherical, mass-like opacification in the right lower lobe. Your primary differential diagnosis should include round pneumonia, especially if the patient is febrile, tachypneic, or has chest pain. Other, less likely considerations include bronchogenic cyst, neuroblastoma, type 3 CCAM, and pulmonary metastases. Now pause your media player. This frontal radiograph demonstrates a prominent amount of air in the stomach and a dilated proximal duodenum, the so-called double bubble sign. This is somewhat classic for duodenal atresia, but annular pancreas and malrotation with midgut volvulus are also standard differential diagnoses given with this appearance. Now pause your media player. This frontal radiograph demonstrates marked hyperexpansion of the left upper lobe with collapse of the left lower lobe and mediastinal shift to the right. Your differential diagnosis should include primarily congenital lobar emphysema, or CLE, and tension pneumothorax. Other considerations could also be given, including CCAM, pulmonary hypoplasia, and bronchial atresia. Now pause your media player. The finding on these radiographs is diffusely sclerotic bone. Your differential diagnosis should include osteopetrosis, heavy metal poisoning, hypervitaminosis D, and pycnodysostosis, among others. Now pause your media player. The frontal radiograph demonstrates a middle mediastinal mass which splays the carina. There is increased lucency of the left lung, which likely relates to air trapping related to compression of the left main bronchus. The lateral chest radiograph demonstrates the soft tissue mass extending posteriorly. Your differential diagnosis should include bronchogenic cyst, adenopathy related to things like infection and neoplasm, esophageal duplication cyst, and sequestration. Now pause your media player. This ultrasound image demonstrates a thickened, elongated pylorus. This is essentially an ant mini, and the diagnosis is hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. Now pause your media player. This sagittal MRI image reveals a vascular flow void posterior to the pineal region and superior to the cerebellum. The diagnosis here is vein of Galen malformation. There really is no differential here. Now pause your media player.